bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet. In the last episode, we helped Perrin catch the abominable beast known as the Blood Moon Beast, a.k.a. Ursaluna. And in doing so, we have done a pretty good service for our friend, and I believe it is high time we got rewarded for that effort. But first... I found a Kitakami Ogre Clan member as we were wandering the freaking, you know, as we were wandering through here. Bow before the over mighty, overwhelming might of raw strength. I don't, I don't get it. Raw strength, huh? And oh, normal types. Okay. I'm imagining you're not gonna have any normal type moves though. Uh, let's try Rock Tomb first for speed, to lower the speed. Oh, you little bitch. Anyone who uses Fake Out first is a bitch. Alright, you took my fucking amulet coin, you're gonna die. First things first, that'll decrease your speed. And then Earthquake to finish you off. There you go. I had it for at least one turn, I should get a ton of money regardless. Alright. Uh, Greedent. Goddamn squirrel. Taking everyone's jobs. Ooh, it's gonna be dawn soon. Nice. I should do the opening chant from Lion King. The problem is... Well, the problem is I'm not African, so I would... I would totally botched the opening lyrics but it does make sense though because it is the what's it call it it is the 30th anniversary today of the lion king coming out in theaters back in 1994 today june 24th though it did get a limited release in june 15th june 24th is when everyone got to see it and that's when everyone says that's when it got its big release, and that's when it broke all of those opening weekend records. Blah, blah, blah. You get the drill. Uh, Mouse Hold. What? You, get, you can have an, any normal type you want, and you pick freaking Mouse Hold. Uh, tidy up. Okay. Your attack rose. Your speed rose. But can you survive an earthquake by tidying up? Methinks you can't. Is there any other normal type you'd rather have on your team here? No. You picked Mouse Hold. So you have defeated a trainer of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. I have. And I got money for it, too. Aha. We made it all the way up here on Oni Mountain. But as you guys know, we're not done. We gotta go all the way down now, back to Maswi. Why? Well, because it would be rude to leave Perrin hanging, especially since she is my she is my senpai chan, and we never want to be bad to senpai chan. Okay, not bad. Nice glide though. Soon. Though, Karaidon, and by soon I mean like several hundred million episodes, you will be able to glide. I'll be able to fly. Not just glide. I wish you could glide now, but... I mean, you could fly now, but this will have to do. We gotta get back to Maswi so we can talk to our girl. And then after that, we can go do the last bit of side questing we can do. That would be getting the rest of the Ogre Clan members, which I believe we've done most of, if not almost all of them. Grab some uh, nice items, most of which we didn't need. But an Energy Ball TM, we most certainly did. But we're back here in Maswi Town. We can talk to Perrin, who I'm guessing is going to be right where I left her last time. Taking so many good pictures. But first, let's heal our crew up. 
with this absolutely badass Nurse Joy here in Kitakami. And they bought, they dropped the ball in Blueberry Academy. It's just a machine that heals you. You know, you should have visit me a whole lot. I'd say you've probably earned another sweet tip. So when you're self taking a selfie, try holding a Pokeball up to your close to your face. Aw, the Pokeball emote. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she gives you special uh, selfie emotes whenever you feel like doing it. If you go to her enough times. Since I'm incompetent, a lot of the times I have to do that, but you get the drill. Hello, Senpai-chan. You gorgeous, gorgeous thing, you. I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I've managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. How do they look? Oh, well, the fact is that once I got them all printed out, I could see that the photos I managed to get are all blurry or cut off or off out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone. Not even you, partner. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I'd gotten too caught up in my own head, worrying about, worrying about framing or what judges might say, always thinking about what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subject as they are, that's what photos should be. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right, your name. I never even asked you your name, partner. I know that's awful of me. After all, you did to help, but mind teaching me your name? You can call me your husband. Mikey, a perfect name for a gutsy kid like you. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Mikey. Name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love of photography. I can say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward. You've earned yourself a real choice reward for all the help you've been. You obtained a choice scarf. You put the choice scarf in your bag's other items pocket. You, an item to be held by a Pokemon. This curious scarf boosts the holder's speed stat, but only allows the use of an item a single move. Ooh. Oh, and this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think he'll do a better job of raising it good and strong. And we get a Growlithe. Raise it to be real strong, okay? Think about that. I think that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. But you know, Growlithe likes these are known. Growlithe like these are known and living and working and working together in pairs. Even if they're separated for a while, I bet their paths might cross again someday. So you raise that one with care in the meantime. We'll definitely meet again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you pull off. I've got high hopes. So bye for now, Mikey. Until next time. Who's your good puppy? Growlithe is such a good boy. But yes, that is the last we see of Perrin for a little while. At least for me, at least. Which is very depressing, but... We did get one... Oh, no, sorry. We did get one hell of a consolation prize, though. We are not dating her. But we did get a Growlithe. And it is a Hisuian Growlithe, in case you're wondering. Which means it is going to be basically Growlithe, but, you know, Growlithe-y. growlithe -er with rocks. Which means it's going to get absolutely pummeled by water and ground types, but it is a good pupper. And we love the good puppers here, so Mufasa is going to take five for a little bit. A wee bit. Not not forever. He is the fire type I did choose after all. So he's going to... He, him and Spumbo are going to have some fun in the computer for a little bit. But we are not done yet. We may have finished dealing with Perrin. But we've still got three loose ends in this region to tie up. Technically four if you count the Kitakami Ogre Clan. But uh, they're not mandatory. So I'm just going to ignore them. They do give you a lot of money, and you get a couple of nifty prizes for beating them, including, I think, if I'm not mistaken, a uh, ability patch if you can beat them all. Maybe I'll do that off-screen, because it's it's really not that big of a deal. I might save the boss battle for, like, a special part of an episode or something, but for now, the we have three specific loose ends to tie up, and if you recall from previous episodes, you'll know what they were. 
Some three troublemakers have reappeared where you originally battled them. And considering they are legendary Pokemon in their own rights, <coughs> you have to go out and catch them to the best of your ability. Of course, when you do, make sure you save because imagine if you didn't and you got screwed over by something that's beyond your control. How would that be fair to anybody? Well, the fact of the matter, guys, is it wouldn't be fair. Alright, so we have a... thing we missed over here. Rock, uh, Ground-type Munchlax. That doesn't help me. What does help me, though, on the other hand... is this gentleman. Yes, all three of the loyal trio, as we call, as they call them here in Kitakami, are now available for you to catch. Make sure you save before confronting them, because you only get one opportunity to encounter them. Now, if you've collected enough Master Balls, these are the easiest catches in the game, but... Since we didn't, we're just going to have to try to outmuscle these things. We're going to start with Monkey Dory, who is Poison Psychic type. Now we can actually catch it, so let's hope for the best. One, two, uh, buckle the shoe. Nope, okay, I was going to say that would have been a nice first hit, but... Alright, so it is 20 levels lower than Crookie, so I imagine we're not going to be able to beat it. Too easily. But it won't be able to do too much damage to us, on the other hand, so... Honestly, this would be where a Pokemon with the uh, Sleep Powder would come in handy. But, alas, none of my Pokemon have the status of ailment move, so I'm just gonna have to keep lobbing Pokeballs and hope that this thing can't touch me. I believe it has a few moves that can, but... Just in case, we'll just keep lobbing po Quick Balls until we snag it or eventually go switch to timer balls all right so sludge wave decent amount of damage um i am so afraid rock tomb's gonna kill it but i'll have to give it a try it didn't okay cool all right that really helps all right ooh, 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 ooh. that was scary okay uh, let's go with an Ultra Ball. We have a bunch of them. We'll go 10 Ultra Balls, and then we'll start doing the Timer Balls. Now, these things do have low catch rates, so if you're expecting them to be incredibly easy, uh, incredibly easy to catch, well, obviously, you've never played a Pokemon game before. Only ones that are guaranteed easy catches are the easy catches. But I went for Monkey Dory first, specifically because, well, you know, it is the easiest to catch because it can basically do no damage to us. Unlike the other Pokemon, which can do really good damage with, like, fairy and fighting type moves. So at least a Crookie, so... I wanted to go with an easy one first, so they can't do too much damage, and then we'll see what we can do about the other ones. I don't think Future Sight's going to do any damage, but... You do you, Chief. You do you. One, two, buckle the shoot. No. Wow. I got to stop doing that. Okay. Let's keep lobbing some Ultra Balls. Nasty plot. Probably going to be doing some damage. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way it's going to do that much damage to me. Uh, I don't remember how many I've used so far. I think I had 137 to start, so I think we, we, we still have a little bit of time. <clears throat> what, what, what? Why? Why? You've had 45 freaking minutes to message me back. Why? Uh, whatever. They 
always pick the worst possible times. Alright. Um, after this, we'll start lobbing uh, timer balls. Try to keep it at a balanced number. Yep, timer balls it is. I'd rather not use all my timer balls, but I may not have a choice. So now it's sludge waves are going to do a lot of damage. Um, only at 50. Wow, I got to go get some. All right. Nothing yet. Nope. Apparently the monkey, do the toxic chain actually does work. Does more than that. Okay, that's freaking messed up. I thought it only had once per battle, once per uh, time it's out, but apparently every time it does poison, it's a bad poison. All right. All right. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh wow. I am so nervous to throw anything else against this thing because I don't think I have anything else that can, like, tank a hit from, uh, that can not get killed by this thing. Come on. Catch. Where I want the catch. The good catch. Come on. Gotta give it to me here. Gotta give it to me here. Come on. I don't even care if you don't, like, just give me, like, the... These are defective Ultra Balls. I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue that lady. Oh my god, really? Why does their freaking damn it, their freaking things always get the side effects? <sighs> Alright. This is where False Swipe would come in handy, but I don't have anyone that knows it. But I think I definitely get to, gotta ha get a Pokemon for the party who knows at least a. What's it called? That knows at least one uh, status affliction move. Preferably one that can resist poison attacks too. So, might have to be like an electric type or something. Alright. Really? You're making me use all of these balls. You're a goddamn demon monkey. You know that? Uh, timer ball. Come on. One. Two. Yeah, no. I learned my lesson about the buffalo the shoe thing. Alright. And... Oh, wow. Okay. I was honestly expecting it to be like... And what did he send? What did he send? Oh my god. Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? <sighs> Whatever. Oh my god, this guy. He just freaking... Ugh. Every time I need to do something, he freaking annoys me. He never waits till, like, he always waits till I'm in the middle of something. I could sit around for, like, 45 minutes and not have anything going on, and he will not bother me. But, ugh. Uh, alright. If I'm not here in the room when he catches, let me know.
didn't do a damn thing while I was out of the room. Would have been nice. The game could throw me one freebie. But alas. But alas. Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, uh, full restore. What to do? Now that this is on... Put it on vibrate because this guy has like... The guy is just like a... He's a butch resort, that's what he is. So is this monkey, you know what? Screw this monkey. Alright. Am I really just gonna like, time this guy out? And he's gonna start freaking doing this. This is actually the most painful thing I've dealt with in this LP so far, so you know what? I'll take that. Hey, don't say almost had it. Please don't say almost had it. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Alright, uh... Pokeball, why not? You're not, wor you're not worthy of going in anything cooler. You're not worthy of going in anything cooler. sucks. I'd have to like completely unedit these things in order to make these decent episodes because I have to transfer them all over to my thing so I can edit them later or else I'm going to have to keep these on my computer longer which means I have less less space to make videos on. Yeah, it's just freaking frustrating. Honestly, I'm at the point right now where the third one should be automatic. It should just stop with the freaking oh one two three oh oh if only the the, the stars had aligned and did X the third one at this point should automatically be a lock. But no, you don't want to do that. You're a damn monkey. That's why you don't want to do that. God, I need a drink. Thank you, Sparkling Ice Lemon Lime, for quenching my thirst. And if this is the easy one, good lord, am I going to have a nightmare with the remaining two. Oh, my lord. How many freaking balls of mine are these things going to waste? I have to go out and get some more freaking timer balls now. Good lord. <sighs> Please just get caught, you stupid monkey. Come on. Not like anybody actually wants you. And if we want if we want to be frank, I don't even need to catch these because I put the ones in scarlet, but from violet in, but <sighs> Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. One, nope, I'm not even one now. I don't get how I can go from not one to one to not one. Like, what the hell? Nope, 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 nope. You act that you act like you're you think I'm shocked at this point. I know you're bullshit, game. I know you're bullshit. I know you're malarkey. You can't even, like, fool me now. Like, like, you can't even be like, oh, well, maybe. Oh, you, got, you might catch it this time. Nope. You can't fool me. I already know. It's not going to be in the next. It will not be in the next ten balls that I throw. 
Even if I threw a mash, the ball it would fail. So here's one. One. Timer ball. Play it hard. Play the odds harder. Two. You act, this game acts like it's like shocked that I know it's bullshit by now. And you know what's going to happen. It's going to run out of PP soon. And it's going to struggle itself to death. And I'll be left here with like a gigantic wasted amount of time. Three. And then I have to restart. And then this whole episode, other than flirting with Perrin, will have been a complete waste of time. Four wasted Pokeballs. Let's go. Five! Five wasted Pokeballs. Ah, ah, ah. Mm hmm. That's gonna struggle. I swear to God, if it doesn't get caught now, I'm gonna lose my shit. <sighs> yeah, I'll see you guys next time.